plant. Give me one second. Sorry about that, I got a little bit hungry. Regardless, welcome back to the channel. I make videos on my life and you know my experiences and what I go through at the time. So something I say today in four or five years could literally mean nothing because I evolve as a person. You know, I'm human. I'm human guys, don't forget. Just like everybody, you know, I have my ups and downs. I go through things also. You know, I'm not living a perfect life. You guys, if you watch the channel, you've been keeping up, you would know that, you know, I, I go through my things also. So moving out was probably one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. So my first piece of advice for, you know, anybody in their 20s, just move out and finally get out of your parents' house. I used to think that I was a complete introvert just because, you know, I never really talked to anybody. I was so to myself, so, closed off and I didn't know why. I thought it was just who I was. I thought it was just a character trait that I just acquired from birth or something. But no, moving out, I realized I do actually like meeting new people. If they're cool people, they have to be cool people. Navigating through the toxic relationships and friendships, this ecosystem, this world, I know it's hard to find good genuine friends that you can count on. And I'm not gonna lie, you know, I've had trouble myself, you know, finding good genuine friends. I'm not gonna lie on camera and be like, yo, I got so many friends, you know, I'm hanging out with everybody, I'm hanging out with the whole city, everything's lit. No, it's not, it's not lit over here. I've found comfort in myself and being by myself, and that's a very good trait to have. Anybody out there, if you struggle with being by yourself, I would say this is another piece of advice. Learn how to be okay with being by yourself. We've always used communities and people we know to survive. So it does make sense why it's not natural to be okay with being by yourself. But to be honest with you, in this new 2024 world where social media is so rampant, cameras are everywhere, there's always ads, there's always something pushing you to you know, believe in something, think this, hate on this. In this crazy chaotic world, it's best to just you know, move accordingly and just you know, not really get bothered by people's opinions because it doesn't really help you. I definitely think it's something that we all need to learn because, you know, a lot of people just are so sad and it's because they're not okay with being by themselves. So, <clears throat> what was that? <laughs> Yo, what was that? I was about to inhale the biggest gust of air ever. Like, what the hell? Now, I understand that moving out can be a very difficult process and confusing. So I have made a lot of videos in the past, you know, explaining my moving out process. I literally documented me moving out from my small town to Miami. I will give you three pieces of advice. Save up the appropriate amount for where you're gonna move to. So let's say if you're moving to Miami, I would say you save up around 15K, but if you're moving to Nebraska, maybe 5,000. If you're in school or still live with your parents, I would try to Start saving up the amount of money that you would spend on rent. So first, wherever that's at, look up the average rent prices in that area and then try to start saving that amount of money like in a savings account or something just to see how much you would need to actually live and just get used to paying bills because paying bills is probably the most like hard hitting because you're not used to paying bills, obviously, if you're still in school or live with your parents. But I will say, paying bills does create character. I always grew up and my parents used to say, just wait till you start paying bills, you're gonna realize, you're gonna see. Yeah, I I see. I get it now, I get it. Yeah, let me put the toy down. Let me go ahead and put that toy down. Yeah, I, I understand. Number three, make sure you have enough of the security deposit. So when me and Jerry moved out here, we had no idea what we were doing. And it's not like we were moving to like a different city in our town. We were moving across states, not state, state so it was really just me and jerry we didn't have any friends we didn't have our parents and i wish somebody would have told me what this was before i got in here with no money but the security deposit is usually one to three months rent so before you move in let's say your rent is 800 a month you're gonna need three times rent so you're gonna need 2400 y'all it's been a long time since i've been in school do not fucking cook me you don't want to get your dream apartment and then realize you can't even move in because you don't have you know, the extra however much money you need. Living with a roommate, that's your best friend, I would say, is fun, but it is hard. When you're living in a place together and you're having to share, you know, the bathroom or share just living spaces, you know, sometimes, I'm not saying me and Jerry fight, we have, me and Jerry have never gotten a fight, but it does, you know, create a little tension, like, ah, you know, I gotta wait for the bathroom, or, oh, I can't wait to get home and have my favorite snack, and then you get home and the snack's gone because your roommate ate it, and you're just like, fuck. So just make sure to keep that in mind. If anybody's moving out with friends or family or anything, yes, you might love this person, but you know, living together, sometimes it's gonna be not the easiest. Not saying you gotta fight and kick the guy out or anything, but you know, understand that you guys are living together and you do have to make certain, you gotta live in certain boundaries with each other because you know, at the end of the day, we're both human. I have my emotions, 
he has his emotions. So, you know, we do have to look out for each other. Learn a trade and or skill. All right, don't mind me. I got a bit tired. I wanted to get cozy in a bit. So for all my non-college goers out there, I actually know a buddy. He went to college for a trade and you know, it's very cheap. I think it's two years or four years. I don't know for sure. I do know it's very cheap. Once you do get certified for whatever trade you're getting into, it's very easy to get a job because the thing about college, even if you get well, it depends on the degree. So I guess I should mention, for all my pro college goers out there, I do recommend making sure you get a degree that will pay you money in the end because a lot of people go to college and get quote unquote worthless degrees, meaning you get a degree in something like communications where you can't really market that to a, to a corporation because anybody can really pick up a communication degree. So it's not really rare. Rather, if you went to get a STEM degree, like, uh, like computer engineering or computer science or things that many people just don't want to go into, you have a much higher chance of actually getting a job that's going to pay you money because the common trap a lot of people get stuck into is, you know, they get a degree thinking, okay, I'm gonna go to college. I'm gonna get this degree and then I'm gonna get money. But what happens is they get a quote unquote worthless degree and they get out of college, try to get a job. They can't get a job. Then they get a job that you really didn't need a degree to get for in the first place. And they're making the same amount of money people that didn't go to college make. And they're really confused, they're upset. Now they're in debt for the rest of their life. And that's when depression, anxiety, yada, yada. You know how the ball turns. If you're gonna skip college or you're gonna plan out dropping out like I did, make sure you really understand the decision you're making is your life. This isn't just like, oh, I'm dropping out, blah, blah, blah. Like, make sure you really know, okay, if I drop out, this is what I'm gonna do. These are the skills I'm gonna have to acquire. It's not just playing around, it's not jokes. You're gonna put the time, discipline, energy, faith, all of that into that skill. Because in this world, guys, we need to make money. You don't have to be rich, but you can't be poor. Have you heard of inflation? Come on, we gotta make money. When I dropped out of college, I told myself that you know, if I'm start, if I'm gonna really do this, I have to take it serious. It's not gonna just be a joke. I'm not playing around. Like I have to put everything, all my power, all my energy into this thing to learn, to learn it, to learn everything about it, to actually be good at it. You know, back then everybody used to say, "Oh, Tiger videos are so good," and looking back, those videos were awful. So either they were lying to me, or they're really just good friends. I, you know, I'm gonna take the latter. Hey, you know, there are times where it is nice and it is required. I would say sometimes you need to just take a break, you know, from everything. Social media is just a toxic place. I mean, just look at the Instagram for you page. I don't even use Instagram. I follow no one. Why is my for you page filled with a bunch of naked women? I just don't get it. I don't even open Instagram. And if it's not girls, then it's going to be cars or a big house or money or this new chain or this new Bugatti. And it's just a very toxic place. And all of that, all of that nonsense, just makes you feel worse, makes you feel bad and brings you down. Partying is no better. When I was younger, I used to dream of, you know, going to house parties and being invited to this event or whatever. You know, I was a very lonely kid. You know, I didn't really have many friends. I really had trouble connecting with other people just because I was, I don't want to say different, but I just, I just cared about so much of what I believed in. And since moving to Miami, I have been to a couple parties and I'll tell you this right now, it is not worth it. Not at all. I would say partying has been probably my biggest waste of time I've ever done. When I was a kid, I used to think partying was so cool and witnessing it myself and actually, you know, interacting with these people, I realized most of them are fucking morons. I don't know, it's just a certain different kind of folk that just like to party. I could just tell, you know, they have that distinct look, just that I party a lot look. I just, I can't. I can't put my finger on it, I can't really describe it, but I'm pretty sure we all know what I'm talking about. Of course, with inflation, rent prices going up, food's going up, pretty much the entire world is just going up. I literally saw a TikTok of this guy, he went back to his old Walmart shopping cart and looked at everything that he purchased, and apparently, whenever he first made the purchase, like four years ago, it was only a hundred bucks. But then he said he reordered those same exact products, same exact everything, and it came out to 400 something dollars. That was a 300, 300x increase from just groceries and I just, that's crazy. Even though the economy is pretty shitty, you do have to prioritize your mental health. Are you really gonna give your whole life to a corporation or company that don't really give a fuck about you? I got laid off recently. You can literally get laid off at any time for any reason. You might think, oh, it's not gonna be me, but they can they can do that. You know, corporations, they're all about money. They, not, they don't care about friendship or how long you've been there. If they believe you're gonna lose the money or they just can't afford you, they're gonna happily let you go. All those hours, all that stress, all that time, to what? To that? 
don't do that. Enjoy your life. You only have one life to live. You have, this is your, oh my friend, oh, I want you to get this, please. If you take anything from this video, this is your one life. You don't get another one. You don't get to do a respawn. You, there's no refresh. Are you gonna live the rest of your life miserable, just going to work, just sad at work? Or are you gonna finally say, you know what? Let me take my own life into my own hands because I'm tired of being sad. I'm tired. I wanna be happy. We all wanna be happy. Prioritize yourself. Take some time off. There's too many people out there that don't have any hobbies. I don't understand. What is something you enjoy that you would do for the rest of your life that you don't even have to get paid for? To go do that. If it's, I don't know, hunting or bow and arrow. I don't know. I don't give a fuck what it is. And I'm not saying things like watching TV or watching movies. No. It could be anything above the bare minimum. Please. And lastly, try to make friends. I grew up as a bit of a loner. I um, still am a loner, to be honest with you. But that's really just come from my own personal choices. You know, if I really wanted to go make a bunch of new friends, I would. I really take a lot of pride and sense of accomplishment from working and growing the channel and just working on myself. For some people, they're not gonna enjoy that. Some people wanna just enjoy life and relax. But I have realized that, you know, there are some times where you do need people and luckily I do have Jerry, so I'm not totally friendless, but there are some people out there that don't have any friends or, you know, are really just to themselves 90% of the time. If you are in your 20s, you know, you could be from mid 20s, early 20s, late 20s, it doesn't matter. It's a good likelihood that you don't probably have any friends because I'm pretty sure the rate of friendless, friendlessness, 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 the rate of friendlessness has gone up dramatically over the years because of social media and other just world issues. But if it is the case that you don't have any friends, yo, go out. You know, go to different things. Go outside of your box. I guarantee you the biggest problem is, you know, you probably just don't go out enough. You know, that's the biggest problem with me. I do struggle with, you know, going out and making friends, but I do understand that it is my choice. You know, some people don't even realize that they're making that choice and they don't understand why they don't have any friends or why they're always lonely because you're not putting in a effort. This is when you have your most energy. The most energy is to go out, experience life. As I said before, this is your one life. You don't get two lives, bro. This isn't... You know, a video game. This is your one life. So, you know, when you're your youngest and you're, mo you're most energized, this is the time to go out, make those experiences, try to make new friends. Even though I don't, you know, socialize as much as I probably should, I do go out and still enjoy my life. You know, if you guys watch my channel, as you guys have probably been seeing, I like to go out in downtown and just see scenery, you know, see the world and just see different parts of the city. A lot of people don't do that. A lot of people go to work, go home, probably work out, and that's it. And they wonder why they're so sad and lonely. Go see, go see part of your city. And if you're not in the city, you know, go look for other parts in your little town. Back when I was in Mississippi, you know, I still took the time to get in the car and drive around and go look at like different lakes or different forests. It's upon you to, you know, get yourself out of any situation you're in. Mental health is a very big issue. Um, I used to be one of those guys that you used to say oh, depression is real, mental health is real, just get over it. But after going through so many things and, realize, and meeting so many different types of people, I've come to the realization that mental health is very real. You know, it's a very real issue. Mental health isn't really taken seriously. It's taken as a joke or you're weak. Yo, none of that. Look, don't listen to none of that. You know, back then, mental health wasn't really taken seriously. You know, it was really just, you know, laughed upon. It was, a, it was just, a, it was really a different time. Like, this is pre-2012. 2012, things got pretty crazy. You couldn't say, you know, men, women, you couldn't say this or that. Like, it got kind of wild. You know, I really wish you guys the best. Um, anybody that's watching, good luck. Good luck on anything you want to do. I hope you, you know, accomplish all the dreams that you've always dreamed of. When I was younger, I always thought being an adult would be so different. Like, I'm technically, I'm, I'm an adult. I'm 22. I'm a grown man. I don't feel it. Some, most of the time, I don't feel it. I still feel, well, I don't feel like a kid, but I just, I don't feel like I'm an adult. My definition of an adult is someone who has their shit together. You know, they're an adult. They, they do adult things. I don't feel like I'm that, I don't feel like I'm there yet, even though I'm technically the age. I don't know. It's still such a crazy, it all, it's all still so crazy. I just, I'm still trying to figure it out day by day. These are the scariest years of your life because this is like the, make or break moment. You have all of these prejudgments on you, like you're supposed to already know what you're supposed to do or you're supposed to have the plan together. When in reality, I don't know, you don't know, we don't know what the fuck is going on. We're just going day by day trying to figure it all out. So these are just scary times, you know, cause you're supposed to have all the answers, 
with no plan. If you're, you know, in your early 20s or in your 20s in general, comment below your experiences, what you've been going through, because I feel like we're all going through something similar, but I know there's some guys out there that have some strange out-of-pocket stories that just don't make sense. So let me know what you guys' experience has been since being 20 or in your 20s in the comments below. I love you guys so much. See you in the next one. Hopefully this rain stops up because I do want to go back outside in the city. I don't know. I really just like making videos outside now. It's kind of my... I'm gonna say my kink. <laughs> what the fuck? Let me end this video. I don't know what's going on. See you guys. Love you.